Hello and welcome everybody to Magic Duels, brand new game out on Steam, free to play, and it's finally true to its Magic the Gathering origins. I played through a quick tutorial and it dropped me off on uh, basically, you have to go through these, you have to earn these cash, basically 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks accordingly, and at the end, over here you get three packs, you open packs, you collect cards, just like the actual game, but without any monetary value whatsoever. Let's jump right into this duel. Oh, and these somatic cutscenes. You will lead a small group of street toughs, known as Celeste Unit Irregulars. Together you act as a force of justice and charity in the slums, while raiding in Akron Estate for food, you draw the attention of the city guards. First duel, welcome to your first magic duel. Apply what you have learned in the skill quest to each your opponent. Basically, what, uh, this is a tutorial. Alright, turn one. Let's see what we got. 33 cards. Uh, cards will be, oh, don't show again, please. Yep, drop our land. Elite vanguards, glory seekers. Go ahead and drop him. Have a mana, good. Boom. Summoning sickness, I know. Can't attack on the first turn you summoned, of course. As anyone who has played this game before should know. He's just gonna drop a land on tap. Good. Play another land. Play another land. Now I got this swift claw guy. Alright, he's gonna summon. Now I'm gonna attack. Confirm the attack. So far, so good. I can see a lot of potential in this game. I'm uh, pretty sure they're up to date as far as uh, June of 2016. The packs that came out in June of 2016, that's as far up as this game is updated. I'm sure they'll continue to update it as time goes on. Like what I really want to see is something like this, but with Yu Gi Oh! Oh, hold on. That would be amazing. But either way, both TCGs are deep, deep in my heart. Uh, you can now manually add mana to your mana pool. Okay. Okay, great. Hold on. Okay. We got a couple more cards now. This guy's got a uh, glory seeker as well. Pack please. Boom. Boom, boom. Attack with all. Instead of declaring your attack attackers individual, you can use the attack with all button to attack all of them. Okay. I don't know where that button is, but okay. Sounds good to me. <coughs> it's gonna defend. <coughs> it's gonna get taken out. Oh, it's gonna die. Okay. Oh, two damage goes through. Down to 16, baby. Drops another land. He's gonna play Traveling Philosopher, 2-2 two, two, Human Advisor. Uh, one, one light, one random, non-color. That's not bad. And as well as a Valiant Guard, a human soldier, 0-3 though. Which is uh, not even good considering he doesn't even have like taunt or anything. Uh, flying cards, good. Let's go ahead and play the uh, land. Uh, this Eagle of the Watch has flying vigilance and is a creature. Attacking doesn't cause this creature to tap, and this creature can't block except by creatures with reach. Awesome. Gonna play, play you. And where's that attack with all button? Attack with all. Boom. Confirm attack. They do. I'm gonna block out these guys, okay. Nice. Both gonna die. Dying guard takes a good amount. Down to one, okay. Down to 14. Bird still in play, two cards tapped. Dying guard restores his HP. Alright, all right. I forgot in magic you get uh, you get your HP back. Nice. Swift claw guy. Glory Seeker as well. And then in the battle phase, I'm just gonna attack with all again. Please. Thank 
thank you. Yeah, this kid is so snobby, he's like, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Mr. Archon Guards. We are better. We got this bird guy. Or a team. Ooh, steamrolled. Boom, got him. I love the Chiefs. Very nice. Very, very well played. Got five lands down. Opponent turn. What is he gonna play? He's down by 10 HP. Another glory seeker. Okay. Nothing. Eagle of the Watch. Sounds good. He's gonna all out attack with everything now. So let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 11 damage total. I'm sure he's gonna block two of them. Nice, very well played. Oh, die. A Valiant Guard. Birdies are still hovering up there. Got another uh, traveling philosopher. Nice. Nothing really epic. No god cards yet. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. In the first duel that they give you at the tutorial, boom, you get some crazy Egyptian god card. Or whatever. Greek god. <laughs> or whoever. Alright, let's uh, finish this up. Attack with all. Confirm attack. Should be enough. These two birds should be able to finish them up. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Two extra points of damage at the end. Boom, boom, boom. Two. Boom. Frick. Get fucked, son. I got 10 bucks. Oh, I got 40 bucks. Total now. Awesome. Steerroll. In a versus battle, reduce your opponent's life total to 10 or less before your fifth turn. Boom. Got that. Starting on your third turn, attack every turn until you won. You fight your way out of the, your hideout. Out of your hideout, but you realize continuing resistance will put your friends at risk. You lay down your weapons and guard all you off to the dungeon. You're sentenced to 10 years for theater. Alright, now we got this guy. Still standing for justice, even while incarcerated, you fight against the bullying and corruption around you. Hixus, the prison warden, begins to admire your commitment to the convictions. He states, starts your training in a pyromancy, magic based on order and justice. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Fucking bitch chains and lash up out of the ground. I mean, this is the kind of training that I would want. Another training drone, okay, cool. A turn in magic is broken into several phases. At the start of your turn, you'll untap all your tapped cards and draw a card. Yes, I know. There are two main phases, one before combat and one after. Most spells can be cast only during one of your main phases. If a card in your hand is glowing, it means you can cast that spell or play that land. Yes, You've already course. seen the combat phase when creatures attack and block. All damage dealt to creatures heals at the end of the turn. After that, the next turn begins. Yes, of course. This skill quest starts in your first main phase. Awesome. A dark slick drake stands between your elvish warrior and victory. Find a way to attack and win this turn. Okay. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Boom. And then I can attack directly. So I need to play this island. And then I'll unsummon him. Boom. And then go ahead and attack. Easy, one through, freezy, baby. Boom. This tutorial Good job. is pathetically easy. Casting the right spell oh, at wow. the right time can be the difference between defeat and victory. That's very true. In all TCGs, every single TCG has a magic spell factor. Okay, so that was just gonna drop me into an actual battle. Okay, good. Got some easy stuff. Gonna go ahead and play our elite vanguard. 
what is his name? Yeah, Ben Jarvis. Yes, sir. What are you gonna do, Mr. Warden Hicksus? Oh, you got Malcolm cards, huh? Very nice. Okay, I'm tap that land. Boom. Just gonna drop another one. And, uh, gonna get you out. And attack them all. Boom, two points of damage. See if I can just do something real quick. Uh, order blockers automatically. I want to use optional cards for me. Mana cards. Just do that. Uh, while on, you can make your point. You can make your point gain life damage or creatures and so on. This was wasn't a fucking one. I wish this would just be an automatic thing. So that's fine, I guess. Gonna drop that land. Gonna get Eagle Watch out. Go ahead and attack with all. Got four damage coming in. It's gonna block one suicide. Okay. Boom, boom. Two more points of damage done. So far, so good. I mean, uh, you can't really fuck up in a game like this. It's a card game. I mean, you have the cards in your hand. You use the utility that you have at your disposal to bring your opponent down to, uh, you know, zero. That's all. That's all that happens here. Instincts. I don't need creatures you control. Game plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. Yeah, well, I don't want to do that. Yet. Wait until I have more creatures out to enact my glorious charge. Okay. Gonna do something like that. These birds are gonna block each other. Okay. About 15. Other than uh, me having to play this in window mode to report it, uh, this game's this game is true, and I mean like legitimately true to the Magic the Gathering game, and it's not some you know silly you know spin-off or something. This is the game. If you ever go to Magic the Gathering, you know, card club, or if you go to like a you know pirate layer is what we had, what we called it. Go to anything like that. You're, uh, you're in the right area. This is exactly what you're gonna be like. I'm sure he's gonna block both of them out. Uh, can we skip the attack? Alright, yeah, let's attack with all to confirm the attack. It's fine. Let's suicide each other out. That damage, okay. He's gonna keep the card out. And I'll block with uh, my bird next to him. I, mean, I only have Glorious Charge, it's the only instance I have. An instance can be played on any turn, actually. So, to land, okay. The two of you pop sockets out here. Alright, game just one plus one to the end of the turn. I wouldn't do that yet. Drop you. And then next turn drop the glorious charge. And then maybe we can take them off. off the I'm sure that these two are gonna suicide each other, of course. Two damage. Boom. So next turn we're gonna have, let's see. Three, six, 
So 10 damage total with this. Boom, so next turn Glorious Charge, take him down. Uh, deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Are you targeting me? Oh, okay. Poop you. You're poop. I'm gonna win next turn, that's fine, I guess. Alright, we got this fancy elk. Play the elk. Next turn we'll play the Glorious Charge. And then we'll... Boom, boom. That's a six. I haven't even taken a single point of damage yet. That's what I like to see. I love this like music that I have in here. It makes it feel good. To feel a charge. So, boom, two glorious charges. Boom, boom. And then, there we go. That's how you do it, baby. We got nothing on nothing, son. As harpies mercilessly swarm the city walls, every evil body is needed. You and the other prisoners are released. The city's last hope to beat back the monster. All right, let's give it a best shot. Yeah, this harpies. I love how my armor just looks like it's painted on. I mean, this is like this is beautiful armor. Well, I mean, what what else can you expect from the creators of Magic Gallery? All right, training drone. What are we doing now? Opponent you can have first. multiple creatures grouped together to block a single attacking creature. This is a good way to gang up on a larger threat. Your opponent chooses how the attacking creature deals damage to your blockers. Usually, Ooh. an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it. But a creature with trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player. Okay. You'll see trample and group blocking in action in this skill quest. Awesome. To complete it, block. So this is the trample fox, Vulpine Goliath. Trample. So he will deal damage past what he actually attacks. So like, if he attacks me now, right? Okay. So he's got six. To block damage an coming. incoming attack. Click and drag one of so your I'm gonna creatures. Do this, to confirm the block watch. So we're both gonna hit him for three. And then three more of these. So that's how that works out. Okay, got this fox. As well, we're gonna attack with all, confirm attack. He's gonna block me with the steel wall. You're just a fender. Big old defender, but I'm gonna attack straight through him. Two points of damage to his hero. Boom. Great job. Well done. Thank you. 15 bucks. I love how every little thing that you do, like a reward. Good job. You're understanding the game more and more. Normally, all attacking and blocking creatures deal combat damage at the same time. However, a creature with first strike deals its combat damage first before creatures without first strike. This means a creature with first strike can often destroy an enemy creature before that creature gets the chance to hit back. In this skill quest, 
withstand. Alright, so what's going on here? He has a juggernaut, right? Juggernaut attacks each turn if able. Juggernaut can't block, can't be blocked by walls. So what's going on here? Is he's a 5-3, okay? I have a 2-3 Elf Warrior. And I have this Kindled Fury. It gives a target creature plus 1, plus 0, and grains first strike until the end of the turn. So what's gonna happen here? I can play this instant, right? A timer block. counts down whenever it's your turn uh -huh, to act. So this. If you want to cast an instant, click stop the timer. Fury. Yeah, stop timer. Then I can play it. So I'll have first attack. Boom. You don't get to do anything. And that's good. Very well done. I'll attack him. Direct first turn, I guess. Play this mountain randomly that came. Back to off the attack. Easy. Well we'll do easy. First strike is advantageous on both We're really racking up those coins, brothers. Feel good about myself. Alright, so now this is my actual battle with the harpies. Yep, harpies it is. Alright, so we got our Lee Vanguard, Swift Pose, the Eagle, and we got this Sky Spear Cavalry Double Strike. This creature deals both first strike and regular combat damage. So he gets he gets to attack first, and then as well a follow-up attack with another two-point damage. Oh yeah, right. I can uh, summon this guy. Okay. Oh, I uh, Woodland Cemetery into the battlefield. Capitalist control swamp. Add uh, death or forest. Swamp or forest to your mana pool, so it's a uh, either or card, but it has to come in tap, so you can't use like the first turn of Okay, get my swift claw out, get up for harpies with two damage.
this one, I'll use the block him if he so chooses to attack, and I'll first try to manage that. It's not a trample card, so the second attack won't actually go through it. Blood Troll Harpy flying. When Blood Troll Harpy enters the battlefield, each player loses one life. Awesome. These are like, this is like the tutorial for the tutorial, you know what I mean? I'm sure we're not gonna actually lose these if I know anything about anything. 3, 4, 4, 3. Harpy, slutty, bitchy, as punk as bitch as hope. 
Come on. You ain't got nothing. You fucking last turn. Let's go. This ain't nothing. You ain't got nothing. One HP. Come on. Like, AI is like really thinking. It's like maybe if I like really pray, <laughs> he would just want that. Well, unfortunately, this is AI. That's not how it works. GG. Bitch. Bless your fucking throat. With your martial talents and magical skills, you manage to fend off the onslaught of voracious, voracious harpies. However, you hear calls for help from the main gate before the harpies can root and make your way along the rise. Oh shit. A terrifying Cyclops approaches your main gate. He is not alone. You and your irregulars are the only ones who can stop the monster from storming the city. You fail to defeat them, and Arcos will fall and succeed and become a hero, hero worthy of the gods. Alright, let's, uh, let's become a hero worthy of the gods. Terrifying Cyclops approaches the main game. He is not alone. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Another training bot. Okay, let's see. Yep. Enchantments these are powerful Suckers. cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. In this, this skill true. quest, use the enchantment in your hand to, to win, win the game. game this turn. Okay, so play the game, and then boom, 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 boom. Plus three. Smarter to block the Ah, these training bots are really getting on my nerves. Like I know how to play, man. Great job. Let me get it. Enchantments are powerful because as long as they're on the battlefield, of course. Now, that's an enchantment, and it's not an instant. Enchantments stay on the battlefield. It's like an artifact. Oh, I remember when I had my magic deck. Auras a are a special type of enchantment. Effect. Most attach to a single creature and affect only to complete like this a, skill a quest. Card. Find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use so both positive and negative auras point. to get the job done. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So let's see. Three, four, five, six. So six in total, so that'll be good. Let's enchant him. Or you'll get plus one plus one, Mr. Eager Cadet. You will get the Armored Ascension. Off. Boom boom. Attack with all, confirm attack. Easy peasy, one through three Z. And the other card was uh, well done. something else. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. Yeah, there's definitely one way to use them. Let's continue, please. I would like to get through this first. First couple of Some battles. Some cards put plus one plus one counters on creatures. A plus one plus one counter increases the creature's power and toughness by toughness. one. HP. These uh, counters power, stay on the creature HP. as long as the creature is on the battlefield. If the creature leaves the battlefield, the counter in this skill quest, your opponent is about to create a massive army and obliterate you. Win this turn before that happens. Okay, try my best. All right, supply line cranes. This gets uh, flying when supply line cranes at the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on the target on target creature. All right. Plus one plus one counters on scare mob. So 
have been 5-5 five, five each of them. It's pretty, pretty scary. Very nice. Well played. Some decks are based on casting a creature and piling on plus one plus one counters until it's an unstoppable force. Try it sometime. Yeah, well, I don't really like the counter stuff. I usually like to make artifact decks. Artifact decks are where it's at. All right, turn one. Boom. Boom. All right, we get glorious charge, philosopher, elk, and our hand plus two lands. That's what you got. Blue break. Rootbound crag. Fire tree. Fire mountain. Now these guys. Two guys. Boom. Oh, this is just... I'm pretty sure that there's no team player. I don't think this is just a single player game. I'm pretty sure there's no team player. If anyone's willing to uh, challenge me in this game, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below the video and uh, add me on Steam and then we can get this going. Vigilance doesn't, uh, doesn't cause this card to have Bush Brush about that life son. to activate this card and just send it to his graveyard and then pull out another lane.
Hello! Okay, that's better. That's a little bit better. Alright, we got a Cyclops of one eye pass. Okay, so there's a 5 2. Quite a, quite a power. That's a power. Alright, I mean, I should be able to next turn be able to attack directly. So I think he's gonna attack the stag, and uh, yes, he is. And they're both gonna go down. They say stag. It's, it's not a stag, it's a fucking elk. Stag is. I think stag is something different. I think. Deer is deer, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I'll just go like this. And then you can have like, all the buffs. Great. Attack all from from attack. And GG. Hopefully. Let's try to finish off that la uh, last guy. Something in the next 20 minutes. I want to keep this episode uh, shorter than an hour. Nice. And I am victorious. Boom. 40 coins, bitch. Up to 220. Good. Your heroism at the gates of Akros did not go unnoticed. Heliod, god of the sun, seeks a champion to face even greater foe. He offers you a sun-blessed spear and instructs you to destroy a mighty titan who serves Erebos, god of the dead. That is a pretty epic spear. Imagine if you just a god came down and he's like, here's the spear, use it to kill. Thank you. The ground shudders and the putrid smell of rot fills your nostrils. The shadows of Erebus, Titan falls across you and your irregulars. You raise your spear and it radiates the light of the sun. The Titan blows ferocity. You change forward and you charge forward anyway. Alright, let's do it. 50 more bucks and uh, 3 packs. <coughs> Well, I got that fancy spear, so. Erebos Titan. I'm no longer a young lad anymore. Alright, nice. I'm just gonna drop us straight into it. Good. Alright, let's get that Vigilant Guard out. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, uh, Magic the Gathering always starts you off with a white deck for some reason. I feel like that's where a lot of the lore comes from, from the actual, like, lore of Magic the Gathering, where the white always tr prevailed over darkness, the swamp guys, but they were always in need of assistance from the other elements, you know? Nami. First hit done. Boom. We got quite a bit of cards now, 52. First, the first battle we did on camera that we started recording was, uh, had like 30. When Bray Maggot enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand and you choose a non-land card from it. Exile that card until Bray Maggot leaves the battlefield. Okay. What are you, uh, choosing? He exiled a... Banisher Priest puts the battlefield. <clears throat> when Banisher Priest enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Banif until. Okay, so basically, basically the same thing. And then we're gonna do something like this. So I can get the card back and not actually lose anything if it decides to block. Attack the phone, confirm. I'm sure he's gonna block him, and then I'll get three points of damage through. Unless he's not going to block at all, that's cool too. That's perfectly fine too. Down to 11. Third land going down. Opponent's turn. Alright, Grim Guardian. Call a station. Whenever Grim Guardian or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. Call a station. That's what that word was, right? Constellation. Constellation. I guess that's like a consolation as far as like both parties have to lose something. Okay. Come on. Okay, 
can't summon Jack. Attack with all. Go ahead. Sure. They're gonna be more than willing to block something. There you go. Now we're blocking things. Okay. So we'll get three points of damage through. Take out both of them. Nice. Oh well. He doesn't die, I guess. I get the card back now. And, uh, I'm gonna play it right now. Well, I feel like these, like, matches are really rigged for some reason, but whatever. I'm not tripping. I ain't even tripping! I ain't even about to have that life. Alright, enchanted. Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus one for each swamp you control. So I get minus four, minus four. Awesome. Oh, so when it goes below its toughness, it dies. Understandable. Three more points of damage. This guy is gonna block. Um, I'm gonna skip the attack. Next turn will attack. We got Sky Spear Cavalry and our supply line cranes. Which is an amazing card. <laughs> supply line cranes. It's epic. Here's your swords and weapons and shields, my friends. Take them. Ah. What it would be. What would it, it would feel to be a god for a day. I'm gonna drop you, actually. Double strike. I understand. I remember what it does. Grab attack. Gonna block both. One is gonna die. Okay. He's gonna block him. My turn is gonna be over. Okay, good. He's got his fifth swamp out. And then I just supply line this card. Yep. So I supply line my Sky Spear Cavalry. Boom. Four, four. And just, yeah, go ahead and attack. Him. What's the worst that could happen? We're gonna suicide into him. And uh, target creature gets minus four, minus four until the end of the turn. Mm, let's see what you did there. Boom. Suiciding into that guy. And then three points of damage is gonna go through. Him alive. Okay, down to 5 HP. Still got 3 cards out. He's got 5 lands. And now he's playing Dreadbringer Lamp Pads. Lamp Pads! Whenever Lamp Pads or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains me Intimidate until the end of the turn. It can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share color with it. Okay, so if he, yeah, so if he does that, I can't block anything that isn't white or isn't an artifact, basically. Okay, another birdie. Birdie. Boom. And it should be enough to finish things up this turn. Yeah, so even if he blocks one of them, there's always going to be at least a potential of six damage. Yep, alright, so GG. Well played, Mr. Titan. You are a honorable foe indeed. Ordeal of Hilliard. 50 more dollar. 270 coins, man. Coming up. Got my come up. Oh shit, there's like actual cinematics. Yeah, I'm the fucking shit. What the fuck? Everyone is dead around him, though. <laughs> oh, fuck! Holy shit, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking teleport.
woods. Awesome. Hmm. It's cute. Oh, it smiled. Yeah, we don't use horses here. We've got lions and wings and shit, bro. Awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Or D, look Elliot. Boom. Completed a Gideon's campaign. And I got a couple booster packs. I got six, three six card booster packs. Boom, boom, boom. Grief stricken over the death of your comrades. Your plane walker. Spark ignites, sending you to Br Bant. You discover a realm of chivalry, and you inspire to walk the path of knighthood. You take the name Gideon Yura, and you seek redemption. And congratulations, you've learned about the basic magic and helped the plane walker spark at night. It's time to take on the next step, building a deck of your own. Spe a special prize awaits you in the store. Oh, a special prize in the store. Huh? Where's that store? Over here. Starter box, free. I got a free starter box. To help you get started, here's, this, here's your starter box. You can use these cards to create a wide variety of decks and explore a number of different play styles. Okay. Just open one, one at a time. Okay. Infernal Sacred. Enchant Creature. Enchant the Creature gets plus two, plus zero, and has, when this creature dies, draw a card. Enchant creature in infectious bloodlust. Enchant the creature plus two plus one has haste and attacks each turn fable. Enchant the creature dies. You may search the library for a card named Infectious Bloodlust. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and then shuffle your library. So if I had two of these, I can just play one and then have another one out of my deck. Immediately thrown into my hand after it's done. Act of treason. Gain control of a target creature until the end of the turn. Untap the creature, it gains haste until the end of the turn. Nice. So basically for three cards you get mind control. Uh, Zendikar incarnate. Zendikar incarnate's power is equal to the number of lands you control. So where the star is, that's how many lands you have. Undercity Troll, renown. If this creature deals combat damage to a player, if it is if it is in renown, put a plus one plus one on it and become renowned. Regenerate Undercity Troll for three. Uh, Imberma Hellion. Trample. This creature can deal excess combat damage to the defending player or planeswalker while attacking. If another red source you control will deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one to the, that permanent or player instead. Or complicated card. Next boost, please. Boom, boom, boom. Fairy Miscreant. Flying when Fairy Mystery into battle, you control another creature named Fairy Mystery. Draw a card. Self explanatory. Uh, Reeve Soul, destroy a target creature with three power or less. That's nice. Undead Servant enters the battlefield, put a 2 2 black zombie creature token into the battlefield for each card named Undead Servant in your graveyard. That's a great card to pull up. Nice. First artifact creature. When Ruined Seviture dies, each player draws a card. Great card. We got this uh, Citadel Calstellan, uh, Vigilant, Renown 2, Talent of the telepath. telepath, Target Opponent reveals top 7 cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from among them without paying its mana cost. Then that player puts the rest into his or her graveyard. Spell Mastery, if there are 2 or more instants or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast up to two and reveal instant. Two reveal the instant or sorcery cards instead of one. Okay. And for our last booster pack that we get for free, we're gonna get in shadowed miss. Target creature gets plus one plus one. Prevent all damage. Uh, if it's renowned, untap. We got this stalwart avian. Renowned and flying. We get a Scry 2, reveal top two cards of your library. If it's a creature card, put it into your hand. Cool. Another artifact creature. And get a first strike, consult's lieutenant. Get a first strike, renowned. Attacks if it is renowned. Other attacking creatures you control gain plus one plus one until the end of the turn. Herald of the Pathion. That's 
awesome. It's a lot. I love that picture. Enchantment spells you cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an enchantment, you gain one life. Well played. Alright. That's, uh, that's it, guys. We're gonna continue playing the story mode. If you like what you see so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to challenge me to a multiplayer. Uh, yeah, so when you go to battle mode, we there is online. There is an online mode for battle. If you want to battle me or challenge me in this game, you're more than welcome to leave a comment, add me on Steam, or what have you. Until then, my good friends, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I wish you a peaceful existence. Farewell. <laughs>